How's it going everybody? I'm Dalton Lindbergh and welcome back to 4 No More Golf and today we're going to talk about how to find the right grip for you to help you hit straighter shots. So we're going to go over three types of grips that you can use. Hopefully you find one that's really comfortable or that combats the mistakes that we're already making and then how our hands help us hit the ball a whole lot straighter. We can even pick up some distance too. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below to get all of our new content as soon as it comes out. Let's get started. To get started, all you're gonna need is two golf tees and your golf club, something that we can work with to find the three different types of grips. So we're gonna go over the weak grip a neutral grip and then a strong grip and as we go we'll talk about what the tendencies of those grips will be. So we're going to start with the weak grip and what we're going to do with these tees is place them kind of right between the thumb and index finger. Okay, to kind of give us an indication of where our thumbs and hands are relative to the grip on the golf club. So when we get ourselves set up, a weak grip is when the tees are going to be on the left side of the golf club. So our left hand for our right-handed player is going to be a little bit more underneath the grip and the right hand might be a little bit more on top so we can see how those tees kind of shade to that side instead of straight down the grip. Okay, so that would be putting us in a weak position and so what this means is that the club face if our wrists are in a neutral position where our wrist is our, uh, our wrist is flat, the left lead wrist, we're gonna see a club face be open. Okay, so notice what the, the indicator is, what does the club face look like relative to what's going on with my spine here? So as I'm in the golf posture, notice how that's kind of cutting through my spine, exposed more up towards the sky, and the wrist is fairly flat. Okay, so to get this club face square, I would have to have a whole lot of mobility in my left wrist, creating a very flexed or bowed type of look. Now we see this with a few players on tour. Uh, John Rahm is one of them, Jordan Spieth is another, um, that we can see this type of grip that's a little bit weaker, and then we see this wrist get significantly more flexed as that happens. So that's the first option. So where weakening your grip can be a help to certain players is if you're someone that struggles with the ball going left. Again, this may help you neutralize that face, not getting it so close that you're hitting big hooks to the left and pulling the ball excessively. Okay, so that's our first grip option is the weak grip. Okay, and then next we'll move towards the neutral grip. For our neutral grip, we're going to get these tees, again reset, where they're going to go right down the middle of the shaft and grip. And so this is our, this is our neutral grip to make sure that we have the tees going straight down. So as we go into this position and finding that halfway down to the ball parallel downswing, you can see how the face starts to get parallel to the spine with just a minimal flex in the left wrist. So I don't have to work so hard like in the weak grip to get this face squared up. Okay, so again, we see a lot of neutral grips on tour, but again, there's tons of grips that are strong, weak, and then right here, kind of that in-between stage. There's no one way to hold the golf club. There's a lot of different ways to get it done. All that matters is that you can control the face. And so what we want to find is what's easiest on our hands and our wrists, what feels comfortable, but also what becomes functional. For example, I couldn't take somebody from a fully strong grip to a weak grip and then all of a sudden the ball is going significantly off to the right, we might have to find that middle spot in the neutral way. And we see, again, neutral is just an option here, not something that's overly preferred or anything like that. Again, everybody's a little bit different. So again, use these T's get them lined up to play around and see what that feels like. Maybe if you're just even swinging in open space or if you have a net in the backyard that you can hit into, then when we go to the range, we might have a little bit more comfort and confidence in this grip as we go. But so we can see a neutral grip means minimal lead wrist flexion in that left hand for me in order to get that face squared up. You can see if I overdo it, all of a sudden the club face is shut 
and pointing down towards the ground. If I keep it in extension, which is something that we definitely don't want to do, we can see all of a sudden that club face go up to the sky. That's going to be leading that ball going right all day long. For our final grip option to take a look at, we are going to look at the strong grip. Now this is something that myself as an instructor and a lot of instructors go to use because so many people struggle with hitting the ball to the right. So for example, my philosophy of how I start is I start with seeing how you can move your wrists and also what's comfortable, what kind of mobility do you have there to, to manipulate the face? Can we find a consistent motor pattern there? And then sometimes, uh, whether I have somebody who has less flexible wrists or more, I find a pattern that their hands move and then we can basically set the grip into the right spot and find that same level of success. And there's not just one way to do it. We can find some options to get this club face squared up so that you can become way more accurate all the way throughout your bag, from your wedges to your irons, and especially off the tee too. So let's take a look at that strong grip. So the strong grip is gonna get everything onto the right side of the club as I'm looking down at it. Notice how we get the tees over there. So that's gonna be the left hand more on top, right hand a little bit more underneath the club, and we can see how everything shades off to the right, just like that, okay? And so again, these T's just give a great indicator of where things are. Are you strong, neutral, or weak? And again, this one f can feel very comfortable for a lot of people because you just feel like you have a better hold on the club. You might feel like you have to manipulate more, but you actually don't need to. So as we start to come down in our little simulation, notice how my wrist is almost flat. And there we go. We have a club face that's very square. Now, where this can be tricky is if now if I go into any lead wrist flexion, now the club face may get too shut and I'm struggling hitting the ball to the left. But what it does is it leaves you a little bit of leeway to maybe even get the slightest bit of extension into your lead wrist and the ball can still go pretty straight. You don't struggle with this huge right miss where if you have a weaker grip or a neutral grip and you end up with extension in this lead wrist, just reminder, extension's going that way, okay? then we end up missing significant lead to the right. So if you're someone who is already missing to the right, strengthening your grip can be a great way for you to try to straighten out your ball flight, try to create more distance by controlling some dynamic loft on the club too. So feel free to give these a try, get these two tees out, and place them right in your thumbs like so, and start moving them around, see what feels somewhat comfortable, or even as you're just kind of rehearsing the swings, see how the club face is moving. We, especially if we're not hitting a ball, you can really watch and see these things and kind of do a rehearsal like you're looking down and check it out and say, well, that club face looks open, let me strengthen it up and see what it looks like now. Okay, so something for you to work on, especially while we have some downtime. We can definitely get better during this time and also discover something that may really, really help us when we finally do get back out onto the golf course and back out onto the range. Thank you all for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad that I gave you something to work on. See how you like it. Please hit us up in the comment section down below to let us know how you like this video, what you wanna see next, and what grip you think might work well for you. If you have questions about your golf swing and you're hoping to get some answers, and please comment or reach out to us directly through fornomoregolf.com. If you're interested in online lessons, we have those too, and it's really just a dollar a day. You can send up, um, you can send as many swing videos as you like. We'll take a look, get you that analysis that you need to continue getting better and owning your golf ball. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.